Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So I've heard from you. Some of you get a sublimation printer, but you want to make stickers and you don't want to purchase another printer to make those. I've also heard from some of you that want to make waterproof stickers and don't exactly know how to do that. For both of those people, today we have sublimation stickers. That's right. Now you can make stickers with your sublimation printer. What are we going to use? We are going to use sublimatable sticker sheets from Heat Transfer Warehouse and I will link to all the supplies I'm using in the description below this video. If you're on mobile you can swipe up on the video or click the arrow to expand the description. If you're watching on computer just click show more below the video and you will find a list of links. Now we are going to use our sublimation printer for this. So it is a sublimatable product so you will need a sublimation printer with sublimation ink installed and sublimation paper. Then we're going to sublimate on the sheet and cut it with our Cricut machine. So this combines both Cricut and sublimation together to make super cute stickers that are in fact waterproof. Spoiler alert, just in case you don't want to make it to the end. So let's take a look at the stickers themselves and how to make them, plus all the information that you're going to need to make your own. Here are the supplies you're going to use. So you'll need your sublimation sticker sheet. Now I actually ordered the 11 by 17 and cut them in half to make 8 and a half by 11 size sheets. You can do it either way you would like to do it. Then we'll need protective paper. I'm going to go ahead and use a lint roller as well as heat tape. Then you'll want a sublimation print. So let's head first to Cricut Design Space and check out how to make our print. And then we'll take a look at what that print looks like. So here are our designs in Cricut Design Space. I uploaded each of these images. They're already made to be stickers, so they already had an offset. I will link to my offset video if you need to see how to create one around your images to make stickers. Then I added a guide that is 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches to make a sticker sheet. I do have another video on guides and I will link to that below as well. Then you wanna pick everything, including the guide. I've already laid my stickers out resized a bunch of them just to fill up my sheet as much as possible. And then you wanna make sure that you attach these together. I have already done that. So now I wanna click make it. And you do not have to hide this guide. Because it's a guide, it will not print. So we're gonna click make it. And then you will see it on this sheet. You will see that the guide is not there and everything looks good. Now we do wanna mirror this to print. My printer is already set to mirror. If yours is not, you can pick mirror here. Then we'll click continue. Then we want to print this first. So we're going to send to printer. We're going to pick the printer of our choice. So I'm going to use my F170. I turned the bleed off. It was white around the stickers anyway. It would not matter. Use system dialog and print. Then we'll pick our correct printer here. Click preferences. For this one, I use a rigid paper type, high quality. For more options, I turn off bi-directional printing. And as you can see, my mirror image is on, which is fine. So we'll click OK and then we'll go ahead and print a copy of these stickers. These are my sublimation prints. So this is sublimation ink in a sublimation printer printed on sublimation paper. You cannot print directly on the sublimation sticker sheet. You need to print on sublimation paper and sublimate it onto the sticker sheet and then we'll cut our sticker sheet in the Cricut machine. So these are printed mirrored. And then we have our sticker sheets. The shiny side is the sticker side, so that's where you will sublimate onto. The matte side will be what goes against our matte or the side we do not sublimate on. Let's start by cleaning the sticker sheet. So I just have like a sheet of the lint roller because that makes this a little bit easier. We're just gonna pick up any dust or debris off of the sticker sheet itself. Then we just wanna locate our design and the sticker sheet and the design are the same size. You don't wanna cut the sublimation print yet. We're gonna sublimate it first. I have my heat press heating up. We're gonna press this at 380 degrees for 30 seconds, medium to firm pressure. And I am going to tack this with some heat tape in a couple locations. I do want it as exact as possible on the location, just so the Cricut will cut it correctly. Then once this is taped down pretty good, I am going to add protective paper, top and bottom, just in case there's any blowout to catch it. Remember, this artist-free protective paper, you can reuse it if no ink gets on it. So I'm gonna put sublimation paper on the bottom, then my sublimation sticker sheet with the sublimation print on top, then sublimation paper on the top, 
and I'm gonna heat this 380 degrees, 30 seconds. So you do wanna peel this back while everything is still hot. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove this tape and peel back the print. And now your design should be on your sticker sheet. So now I have a sticker sheet with my design on it, including this registration box around the outside. The vinyl does curl up as it cools. So I'm gonna use a green mat, but make sure it's not a very sticky green mat. So either a new blue mat or a green mat that is kind of worn because I had trouble with the backing paper tearing on one of my green mats. So we're just gonna put this on a kind of worn green mat I did have trouble with the glitter vinyl setting not working, so I'm gonna try the light cardstock setting this time, and I think that will cut all the way through. This material is very, very thick. And so I'm just gonna kind of run over it lightly with the brayer, and then put it in my Cricut machine. Now, I haven't had any trouble with my Cricut Maker 3 reading this registration box. This material is glossy, however. If your machine has trouble, add matte tape all the way around this box in order for the machine to read it. So let's head to our Maker 3 and cut the sticker sheet. It was able to see the box without any tape and now it's starting its cut. And once that's done cutting, we'll just remove this. And let's take a look at these cuts and see how it did. So now the sticker sheet is done cutting and on that light cardstock setting, the cuts are perfect. So it did a kiss cut, did not cut through the backing paper, but cut through this top layer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this top layer and then show you some of these stickers. So there you have a cute sticker, did not cut through the backing paper. So now there is sublimation stickers. Now, these are supposed to be waterproof. Let's put that to the test. So I was able to remove this sticker sheet successfully from the mat. It does curl quite a bit. Um, so if you're looking for like a flat sticker sheet, this might not be the product for you. But I'm gonna try this sticker here. And it is absolutely perfect. And we're gonna put it in the water and see if it is in fact waterproof. So here's our sticker. Everything looks great. We'll put it in the water. I'm even gonna rub over the top and it still looks amazing. Like that ink is not going anywhere. So this is a great way to make waterproof stickers with your sublimation printer. So for cut settings, I would use a light cardstock and then depending on the condition of your blade, you might need to use less or more pressure or the default pressure. I could have probably went with less pressure on mine and I did the default. There were just a few areas where it dug into that backer and didn't give me a kiss cut, but the sticker still pulled off perfectly and it didn't cut all the way through the backer in any areas. So I was happy with the cuts I got with that. Now my Maker 3 cut this material perfectly even though it was shiny. The Explore Air 2, you might have trouble with. If you do, add matte tape just around that black box and that way the machine will pick up the box even on that shiny surface and hopefully cut correctly. Otherwise, enjoy this tutorial, enjoy this amazing product, and make some sublimation stickers of your very own. Whether you're looking to make waterproof stickers or you just only have a sublimation printer and wanna make stickers at home, this material is a great option for both of those cases. And plus, it's super easy to use with your Cricut machine. I love projects that Combine Cricut and Sublimation together into one great project. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about making Sublimation stickers, please ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.